Hello and welcome to all you Capricorns out there. This is your monthly horoscope for September 2022. A very busy month for you because I'm going to focus on the Mercury retrograde in Libra. So round and about the 11th of September, Mercury stands still at 8 degrees of Libra and goes back into that area of your house, going backwards a time for reassessment, rethinking, because it's Mercury. In for your uh, sign, it is the area of your work. And if you don't work, it's the area of your public life, how you want to be seen, um, how you want to be seen by others, by the role that you have in society. So there can be a very broad role of um, you raising your children in the best way possible, for instance. That's also a, pub a public thing, you could say. So... Between the 11th of September and the 24th of September, it's like a reassessment when it comes to the highest point of your horoscope. So, if you've been dealing with stress around work, stress around the parent as well, there is a time here not to do a lot, but to rethink it first before you're taking action when Mercury goes direct. I'll tell in a minute when that is. So, use this time. There is an opportunity for you to change jobs, absolutely. There is an opportunity for you to change your relationship with a, with a parent and to improve it. But it could be, in the beginning, that it worsens, that it goes a bit more stressful. But that is not to annoy you, it's to prompt you into action later on. And into, first of all, which is the Mercury retrograde, the revisiting of it. What is it? that you want to change? What is, it, what is it that you don't like about your work? What is it around communication specifically that you don't like? The work life balance here is also highlighted because Mercury retrograde touches Jupiter three times in an opposition in your fourth house, which is your home and your, your home life. So an opposition always means stress because it's like, it seems like two different things that you cannot juggle. But the thing is, you can uh, when you timeshare. And that is the Mercury opposite Jupiter that is going to touch each other on three significant times. The 3rd of September, 19th of September, and the 12th of October. Keep that in mind. These are very important conversations around your home work area. Um, so there is some... A lot of conversations that might be a little bit more, um, keep in mind that it's not about you knowing it all or someone else knowing it all. It's about the detail versus the bigger picture. We have to take into account both. Mercury is the detail. Jupiter is the bigger picture. So if you have those in a, in a connection, it means a lot of conversations around truthfulness, purposefulness, which is Jupiter in your fourth house of home. You want to feel nurtured. You want to feel that you have peace, but at the same time, you want to be seen at work or around your role in society in a, in a way that is respected and in a fair way. You know, it's in Libra after all. So a lot of work could be done there. It's quite interesting. But then when that work is done, your attention shifts towards the ninth house because then Mercury prom goes into a fellow earth sign, which is Virgo, which is less stressful for you in the ninth house. And that's from the 25th of September up until the 3rd of October. So you could be going back on a trip or uh, you could be traveling, you could be um, editing when you are an editor, you could be re-editing, you could be rewriting something, you could be refocusing on your YouTube channel, for instance, I associate that with the ninth house because it's with, a lot of people are seeing it and it's very international kind of house. So you could be redoing something with your communication um, because it's Mercury after all and with your studying as well. So it could be that you are redoing something, that you are doing exams or is it a time for that? For some of you, probably it is. At least in my country, in Belgium, September can be a time that you have to uh, revisit 
um, uh, some exams there. But whatever it is, it's a good time to do so. It's a good time to rethink it. And on the 3rd of, of October, you're already going to see the rewards there. If you've done it in a different way and in a very, putting a lot of effort on those things. You know, ninth house is study, travel, communication with uh, uh, people from abroad and, and also your connection with the divine. So you could, uh, for some of you, it could be that you have a different belief system or a belief system that you have, you want to revisit it and uh, you want to fine tune it and improve it. And then Mercury goes direct back into your 10th house of work around the 11th of October. So there are the rewards showing itself when you have been reassessing and uh, accepting the energy of the reassessment, even when that's a bit struggling. So it's a good time then to go for new contracts, considering work after the 11th. And if you have time, even after the 17th, because after the 17th, it's out of its shadow and off you go. So very exciting time for you. Uh, it's a lot about key areas of your life. So use this energy to, as an opportunity to improve it. And although you have to do a little bit of work there, it can be very long lasting, the reward for that. Having said that, I thank you so much for watching and uh, have a very good September. Bye-bye.